symptoms of targeted being targeted 24 hours a day 7 days a week home and outside Yep. 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 Uh huh. Oh yeah. Uh Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. I get them stings on my face, my lip, under the eye. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. Yep. Constant headaches and other pains. Yep.
I'm not a dissident. Widowed father of three. <clears throat> At this point, I'd like to know if my first seizure and stroke and my wife's heart stop and has anything to do with this program. If so, it's depriving of rights under the color of law and this community hell-bearing program. So when citizens take part in this, it's Article 18 U.S. 241, and when the government takes part or any governmental agency, it's U.S. 18 242. Okay, yeah, I've had my mail. Phones, tablets. I, I, I actually do not go away from, you know, where I live. Yep. My daughter's eight was called a terrorist. And the, another little girl said, oh, we know where you live. We've been watching you. Sorry, I gotta keep looking at the tadpole bucket there, cause if not, my screen blurs for some reason. Shouldn't. Should stay nice and nice and focused, but apparently it doesn't want to when I'm reading this. This table lists various symptoms that are reported on the internet about target individuals. It also contains some um, symptoms that are related to this person's personal case. I will indicate if the symptoms manifest itself on my person in order to compare my situation with what is being conveyed on the internet <clears throat> well I'll tell you what almost every one of these except for a few that is sad since it's an, an illegal program been going on two to eight years <clears throat> does it make sense that I would have a stroke and seizure at 1 30 in the morning and five months to the day later, my wife's heart stops. That seems like murder. That does not seem natural by any sense of the means. I have not seen any due process. And I would actually like to see polygraph tests done to see if there were human involvement in her heart stopping. Because I have kids now that miss their mother so much, so great, 
it causes great strife. And these people that take part get gift cards and, you know, cars and, you know, whatever else it is to take part in this illegal program. And this is my neighbor. This is where I moved to for a reason. Like, you know, birds chirping. I mean, yeah, that's 95 with a barrier, you know, sound barrier wall. Little, little noise when big trucks go by, but you know what? I'd rather have that than cars going by all day long. So, let me, let me see something else. Well, I'm not going to look it up, but it does say that if you are suffering these issues, if you are dealing with these issues, to contact federal authorities... To contact the Attorney General. Possibly a lawyer. Possibly a private investigator. Because it's illegal. There are cease and desist letters that have been sent out to governmental agencies. Um, There are court cases... See, when you're on remote neural monitoring, your brain will hurt in the frontal lobe as soon as you snap out of it. You can snap out of it just by someone calling your name. Or if you're sitting up and someone puts you under and you fall forward and you feel that sensation of falling, you will immediately snap out of it. So, I know I scrolled a little quick, so pause it and look over each one. But this shit is way out of control. These people seem to have no morals whatsoever. Love, trinkets, and, you know, worldly possessions over torturing an individual for which Trey Gowdy when he questioned the woman that, you know, does the list for, um, terrorists or domestic terrorists, she said, oh, well, we scrutinize. Apparently not, because I'm a widowed father of three, and I gotta deal with this shit. And then on top of it, I get this. A Wi-Fi TV is down the bottom there. Wi-Fi hotspot. That wasn't there before. Up oh, CIA Interstate 95. That right there is 95. That's crazy, so that's either somebody impersonating or the CIA has a mobile command for which I keep hearing air brakes right between there and there. And they seem like they're just standing still, like you just get, you hear the ksh, ksh. I mean, I wouldn't know unless I threw a ladder up right there and looked over the wall. But it's ridiculous because, you know, I was at one location and came to this location. I've already had sleep deprivation for two years, you know, doctors told me to move. My daughter's doctor told me that it was in her best interest that we move for certain reasons.
And now I'm tired of making these videos. I'm completely sick. I'm disgusted with people. I'm tired. I mean, I even have missed alarms from last night. Yeah, this was behind, this was right in front of me when I went to pick up my uh, daughter's medicine. Sorry about the crack screen, somebody cracked it. I got an IP Mac address. I don't own a MacBook. High radiation. High radiation, high radiation. That's what you want to look up. You want to watch this video. Missed alarm, 3.25 a.m., Thursday, May 16th. I should never miss my alarm since they sound like a rooster or something crowing. You know, I'm tired of this. It's all criminal. I'd like to see polygraph tests done to see if my wife's heart was murder or natural.